and we're back with the K1 World Grand Prix 2017 Japan K1 Heavyweight World Championship Tournament at the Saitama Super Arena, the community arena configuration. We've got 8,000 screaming fans ready for this next bout of action to kick off. In the red corner, Kosuke Komiyama taking on in the blue, Stauros Exacustidis. I'm Brian. And I'm Phil. Let's see what happens in the ring tonight. That name, that last name. And the blue fighter always makes me very nervous, but I think I got it. I think you nailed it. Yeah. Real interesting stylistic matchup here from these two guys. Komiyama, the karate practitioner. Lots of kicks, lots of unorthodox attacks and distance coming from him. Custidis, Exocustidis, more of a conventional European style. Good combination. Oh, yeah. Lots of punching, explosive, lots of speed, yeah. and physically very strong. Yeah, He's an explosive fighter. It'll be very interesting to see how uh, Komiyama plays this one because he's got his hands full here with the fighter in the blue. Ooh. Good front kicks there. Yeah, Komiyama is real tricky. Throws axe kicks, he'll throw spinning kicks. He'll throw a front kick that's kind of more like a side kick. And lots of lots of low uh, low body attacks. Ooh. From Komiyama. And picking the front kick up high there. And you just never know what you're gonna get oh, from yeah. him. So yeah. it kind of makes you uh, hesitate when you step in, and that little bit of hesitation is the moment that he'll he's looking to take advantage yeah. of. You can see too, Staros is just right off the bat. Having trouble, how do I get in? Yeah, how, how do, do I, I enter here? Do yeah. I use a series of jabs? A side step? Whoa! Yeah, he's got a back kick, man. He does a great job with his footwork, and his kicks are super long. He's flexible. He really extends on his kicks. Covers a lot of uh, distance in one move oh, yeah. in the K1 ring. A little blow there, but uh, Staros is not the phase. Oh. Yeah, for any kickboxer, fighting a guy like Komiyama is, is not, a, not a fun thing to have to do. No. I'm not going into one of those fun houses with all those freaking mirrors and stuff. You just don't know <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> what you're going to see next out of them. That's right, like the showdown. <laughs> yeah, with a uh, martial arts yeah. film. Yeah. Which one is the, the, real, is yeah. the real bad guy? <laughs> Which one is the illusion in the mirror, man? Yeah, so it's uh, going to be a tough, ooh, tough first round here for yeah. Stauros. Stauros is going to have to cut the corner, uh, cut the ring off, yeah. work Komiyama into a corner mm -hmm. little by little, and just put him in a small space where he can really control yeah. the action and the movement of Komiyama. Thing is, Komiyama's trained to just not let that happen. Nope. He, he, he utilizes the entire ring. Yeah, <laughs> wow, he gets in and out real yeah. fast. Keeps his guard low. His movement is so good. Ooh! Oh, there's a there, but oh, big, big, big push, push off, yeah. With the help of the ropes. Ooh, yeah, interesting first round there. Yep. Um, that, I would say Komiyama hmm. took, yes. took that round. He had some good ring control, and he had a few, uh, he had the big spinning back kick that landed cleanly. Yeah. Had that nice little um, stanza there on the ropes. Probably had the cleanest hits in that match so yeah. far. He definitely controlled the pace yeah. there. Woo! <laughs> Hitting the deck. Smart move. Smart move, exactly. Yeah, I don't know exactly what uh, Star Wars can do. Like you said, maybe try to cut him off in the corner, but that would be so tough because Very you know, Kosuke is just going around and around. Sometimes, you gotta kinda do, um, when you get a guy like Komiyama, you gotta go berserk mode a little bit. Load your weight on your back foot, and then sort of run into a few shots, knowing you're gonna absorb something on the way in, but it's worth it if you can drive your opponent um, into the corner momentarily and then let your hands go. And have to go berserk mode for a little while here, I think. Definitely. Back with some more action here in round two. Yeah, if you notice, the uh, camera zoomed in on Komiyama's arm there and saw some scarring from uh, the incident uh, where he apparently saved someone's life. That's right. Car accident possibly, yeah. 
Yep. Came across a car accident. Used his elbow to smash the window open. Pulled someone out of the car. K1 superhero action going on here. Fortunately, uh, K1 doesn't allow elbows. But uh, let's see if that superpower can be transformed to something in this match. That's right. No, no elbows in the K1 ring. There are knees. <laughs> Ooh, and they can have one right one there. there from Kumiyama. <laughs> yeah, he's he's moving so loose um, and relaxed. Starro's doing a good job of holding his ground and coming in and making moments like this happen, but he's got to push him into the corner, cut off Komiyama's, Komiyama's movement a little bit more. And although these attacks... Um, from Komiyama, Komiyama may not be accumulating a ton of damage. They are scoring points with the judges. Ooh, another knee there. That's a great jumping knee. Yeah. Mm. Staros really has to close the gap, kind of find an, an entry point. Mm. Body shots are a great idea, mm -hmm. but if Komiyama can just step back, it's not going to be as effective. He's got to put him against the ropes or in the corner. It's going to be the big turning point in this match for Stauros. Is, you know, the big deciding factor is if he can work Komiyama into the corner to let some of those body blows go. Mm, nice low kick. Komiyama is doing a great job of upsetting Stauros' rhythm and game plan. Oh, yeah. Sidestepping on the knee there, beautiful. Just 50 seconds left in the second round. Stauros looks like he has to change up his game plan quick if he wants to get this win. Ooh, right. This is so elusive, this Komiyama. Really, got to be really frustrating here for Stavros. Oh, nice low kick. In the last 20, 20 seconds here, in the second round, and Komiyama having an excellent fight here, just Landing all kinds of blows. Yep, he's moving so well. He's just got to be careful. He doesn't run in uh, with his guard too low and get mm -hmm. caught with the punch. Yeah, like that. <laughs> well, there we go. Got to watch out for those hooking shots. I would think, um, once again, Komiyama having good control in that round. In this third round, Stauros is really going to go for it. Yeah. Um, so Komiyama's got to put his guard up and stay on his bison hook. Yeah, just... Uh, one more round left here. Mm. And uh, yeah, it looks like Komiyama is the leading in this fight. Wow, great knee, but yeah. also great guard as well. Yes, yeah, Saros getting, getting the elbow down. I'm sure if that elbow wouldn't have been there, it would have been a devastating oh, yeah. knee. You know, it's hard to explain to people who haven't been in the ring before how frustrating it really is to fight a guy like Kosuke Komiyama. You cannot do what you want. It's I can, I can really relate to Stauros' probably feelings of frustration here. He's got the punching power, he's got the plan, but he's just not able to execute. Yeah. Because Komiyama's doing a great job of nullifying it. Yeah, just, yeah, just moving around the ring, sticking, moving, doing very un unorthodox uh, strikes. Yep. Yeah. Bringing the head real low, which you, know, you typically don't do in kickboxing. Mm -hmm. Big yeah. kick it up and around. Wow, the great front kick shuts down the attack there. Wow! It's like Star Wars really wants to land a body shot. Ooh, nice little stanza from yeah. both fighters there. Ooh, nice body shot there. Yeah, I think yeah. that that is Star Wars's point of entry. Ooh. Yeah, he knows he's got to do something big here in this yeah. third round. Ooh, and he's doing it. Ooh, this pressure is going to force Komiyama in order to uh, keep the odds in his favor. Mm -hmm. Nice high kick. Yeah. To throw a little more, open himself up a little Whoa. more. Ooh, great shot there against the ropes from Stauros. Wow, look at that. This, he's throwing probably every single kick imaginable <laughs> in this fight. Ooh, wow. Be careful with the elbow. Yeah. Stauros is now hunting, putting it down. Yeah, better watch out because Stauros, Stauros does have that KO power. Yep. Well, and he's just, this This is the type of pressure that he probably needed a round ago. Yeah. It's just very difficult um, to maintain, to have the stamina to maintain an attack like this. 
Great job though of uh, pushing the pace, getting a little bit, uh, a little bit aggressive, putting Komiyama on the ropes and timing these lunging body attacks. Yeah. But it's working well. Yeah. Ooh, Komiyama now on the back foot, um, more defensive than he has been the whole fight. Staros needs to capitalize on Komiyama's missed attacks with a the, maybe the counter jab or punch or low kick. Because mm. when uh, Komiyama misses. Staros doesn't really execute anything. This allows him to get away with That's these right. big swooping kicks and spinning kicks and etc. Yeah, there you go, exactly. You know, with the low guard from Komiyama too, that there is an opening there. Staros just, Staros just has to time it and be focused. Um, he could land something big. In the meantime, Kosuke is racking up those points and these low kicks and. Yeah, great front kick that he throws there to the head. That really makes you second guess. Oh, big nice. punch there. Look. Ooh, again. Lands again. Great shot there from Stauros. Like he's found the correct path. Yep. Sticks the right hand out. Jumps in on the left. Ooh. That, that right hook is really, where, really where, where it's at. He knows it. Yep, coming down to the final 10 seconds in the round here. Stauros Ooh. did exactly what he needed this round. Yeah. It's going to be dependent on how the judges look at the first two rounds. There you have it. A really inter interesting stylistic yeah, matchup wow. there from both guys. Kosuke definitely had Staros confused for the first two rounds, but then by the third round, Staros figured out the puzzle. No, that's right, yep, he put the pressure on, ate a few shots on the way in, but it created the opening he needed to land as well. Yeah. Interesting to see how the judges uh, score this one. Great performance from both guys, yeah, a lot wow. of fun to watch. ジャッジ梅木、29対29ドロー。ジャッジ三浦、30対29、赤小宮山。ジャッジ Yep. 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 I don't think it's a bad decision. No. I think Komiyama had those first two rounds. Yeah. Just took Saros a little too long mm -hmm. to uh, turn up the pressure and um, execute his game plan. Yes. Excellent performance by both fighters. I mean, you know, we've seen uh, KOs from both fighters here. So and there you have it. K1 World Grand Prix 2017 Japan K1 Heavyweight World Championship Tournament at the Saitama Super Arena Community Arena. See you next time.